Welcome back to The Gun Collective, everybody. I'm Judge Joe Brown, and today we're gonna to be taking a look at the Flux Defense Brace. But first, let's hear from our sponsors. Coltac is no longer just making suppressor wraps and pouches. They're jumping headfirst into the precision rifle game with products like the Cuddle Bag, the Boss Bag, the Ammo Book, and the Rifle Handle. You pick the colors, they build the gear. And because you're awesome and you watch TGC, they're doing a special discount code for you. TGC 10 will get 10% off your entire order over at coltac.com. For those of you that don't know, the Flux Defense Brace is a Glock compatible brace that has made a big splash in 2019. Now we're gonna start off with the legal aspect of this brace. For those of you that need a permission slip from the ATF stating that this brace is good to go, you're gonna be out of luck. And this is unusual for a brace company because most brace companies get their approval, approval letter then they start their manufacturing process. Now, when you do get the Flux, it will come with a letter and a diagram from Flux telling you how this is intended to be used. The old cheek weld and wrist are approved methods of shooting the Flux, and that's really all they say. Now, I'm not a lawyer and I'm not giving you legal advice. This might be something for Adam to tackle in the future. Until then, I, I say live like a free man. So. For those of you that need a letter, you're not gonna get it. For those that don't care, don't worry about it. The Flux Brace is compatible with Gen 4 and Gen 5 Glocks in the frame size of 17 and up. So it will work with your Glock 17, 34, 35, 31, 19X, and Glock 45. I ran the Flux on my Glock 45. The Glock 45 isn't listed on the website as being compatible, but it worked fine. There's one exception to this. For some reason, it will not work on the Gen 5 Glock 34, so don't try it. I know there's gonna be new fluxes coming out all the time for different models. I'm sure the Glock 19 flux is high, a high priority for flux defense, so look for that one in the future. Install of the flux defense, super easy. It's not permanent. The flux is gonna come with a steel pin. You're gonna remove the back grip pin of your Glock. Simply insert the flux onto the back of the grip stick the steel pin through both the flux and the grip and voila, it's installed. And it's actually a pretty rigid installation. It doesn't wiggle around, the pin doesn't back out. It's also very easy to do, which is nice. It keeps it very simple. Construction of the flux is a mixture of steel and polymer, the rods on the side and the actual pressure switch to deploy your flux are made out of steel and then the brace itself is made out of polymer. When you deploy your flux, you're gonna wanna make sure it gets locked into place. Trust me, I know, because if you don't have it locked into place and you go to fire, this thing's gonna collapse on you and you're gonna get a slide or a gun in the eye. Thank you. That's exactly the problem right there. Luckily I was wearing eye protection and it didn't really matter. Now it's gonna get come with two different springs. It's gonna come with a blue spring installed and then they send a red spring with it which is a little bit heavier. So if it's not locking in place when you deploy it, you put on the red spring and hopefully it gives it a little more oomph. But I would tell you just make sure that you pull on it, tug on it and make sure it's locked into place. Nothing wrong with a good tug, you know what I mean? If you want to carry the Flux on the regular, you can get a holster for it. Flux Defense makes a holster compatible for your Glock integrated to the brace. Now, this is not a very concealable option. It's big, but the holster is ambidextrous, so you can run it left-handed or right-handed. It can be used IWB and OWB. I can't see myself using it IWB, but outside the waistband, it was perfectly comfortable. If you needed to conceal it, you'd probably have to wear a pretty big jacket because it is bulky, but you can do it. They give you options. That's always nice. So the big question is, is this an actual viable self-defense option if you wanted to turn your Glock into a PDW? The length of pull on the Flux is 13 and a half inches. They have to do that for legal purposes. 
I'm not a terribly big dude, but this was not a very comfortable setup to shoot. I really had to cinch up tight on the gun, shrink myself up, didn't get a good cheek weld. It, it wasn't comfortable really at all to shoot. It did give me a third point of contact, it made those long distance shots a little bit easier. I don't know how important that is, how important I need to, it is for me to make 100 yard, nine millimeter shots, but it is gonna give you some improved stability. For 260 bucks, you have to ask yourself, is this little item worth it to ded dedicate a Glock to, or maybe should I invest that in something else like training to shoot better at longer distances? Really, it's gonna be up to you. I found that it did help for stability, but it wasn't comfortable to use. Where I can see the Flux Shining is as a bag option. So if you dedicate this to a Glock, take that holster, stick it inside a concealed carry bag, you can still get to it quickly, deploy it quickly, and it's obviously gonna be pretty concealed inside that backpack or bag. Guys, this is a really interesting product. Leave me a comment down below. I'm sure the comments are gonna be crazy about the Flux. I'm sure some of you have been using it already. I wanna hear from you guys as well. Thank you for watching this video. Hit that like button. Subscribe to The Gun Collective. We appreciate all that support. Go check us out on Instagram and Facebook. There's a lot of good stuff going on over there as well. My name's Judge Joe Brown, and I thank you for watching. We'll see you on the next one.